All right, welcome back, everybody, to Ask Us on the Trap Talk Podcast. As always, email us at askus at traptalkpodcast.com. All right, guys, we've got another question coming in, and this one is coming in from Gino. It says, hey, Ricky and Zach, I've been looking at my front bead lately, and it's driving me crazy. I have the green fluorescent front with the white mid bead. I am left-handed and left eye dominant, so I always line myself up when I mount the gun. I close my right eye, I stack the beads, I call for the target. I hold a high gun as well, about two feet above the house. I attended a class at the Hartford Gun Club here in Connecticut two and a half years ago, and I'm using a high hold gun point. Any advice would be greatly appreciated. I have a browning trap combo, um, and I really like it. Thanks again. Gino. All right. So Gino's having some staring at the bead problems and he's holding a high gun. So, so I, I mean, Gino, say, what would you say, Rick? <laughs> what is I that? would say, number one, I've never been a huge fan of the fluorescent sights. For yeah. That, I was going to see what you thought about that. For yeah. that reason, I would take out the, the green and put in the white um, because some people have a tendency to look at those. Everybody's different. I can yeah. shoot with them. I I put them on there and mess with them, but I can see where people will, you know, it, their eye goes back to it. So that's first. I would take that out and then put in the the white one. Okay, number one. Number two. Did you always hold? You took a clinic at Hartford. Did you always hold a high gun? Is that something new? Um, if it's if it's new. You're holding the gun up, okay, well, you're automatically looking maybe over the gun, through the gun, under the gun. Well, when that happens, when your eyes go up to look at the target, they're going to see that bead and automatically do it if you're doing. So I would just suggest maybe dropping your hold point down just a little bit and not mm -hmm. two feet, but I don't I don't like a high hold point. Never have. Um I'd hold it about a foot maybe, and then just try that. I mean, it's pretty simple there, you know, so. Yeah. That yeah, echoing exactly what Ricky said, I, I would say, you, you know, fluorescents have a word fluorescent. You usually see them on the side of the road when they're doing construction, they're wearing fluorescent <laughs> things, which right. why do they wear those? Oh, because your eyes are going to look at them, right? So yeah. like, um, you know, and, and, and to bring up somebody that told me this a long time ago, Darrow Handy, he used, you know, a gold bead or he even took a white bead and he smudged it. And he said, I don't want to see the bead dominantly. And I, I, and I said, why? And he says, well, if I see a bead dominantly, my eyes are going to be attracted to it. So anything you can do to make the eye not suck to the thing that's hanging on the end of the barrel. Now, yeah. another option there is size. I find those fluorescent ones are generally a lot bigger around and I like right. smaller beads. I don't like like a big old golf ball on the end of the gun. I like something that's reasonably sized at some yeah. level. Um, as far as the hold point, if you're going to hold up there, okay, but make sure you're letting the target break the gun. Like make sure you're holding still and you're letting that target get up above the gun to where you can see it and then attacking. Um, otherwise, yeah, you're going to look back at the beads like you're going to get startled and you're going to look you're going to come back with your eyes because you're not locking onto that target first. If your eyes lock onto the target first, they're going to have a much better chance of not coming back to the gun than if you call pull, you don't see a target, you get spooked, you see a target and then you look back for the gun and you kind of do that throwy thing. So, um, yeah, I, I'd say get the gun out of the way or allow yourself to be patient enough that you're seeing the target before you're attacking either or. Yeah. And you're right, Zach, the, even if he's using a high vis, for example, they have different size fluorescents. You could try a smaller size cause they have some that have that big flat face on them. They're very large, right? They're, you know, almost like for hunting or something, right? Where, you know, you should not be scared to throw the white in there, shoot some rounds with the white one in there and see Just if that gets white. Yeah, That's just a, yeah. I I agree. I I've tried those high vis. I put them on. You know, I like Zach's analogy though. Know, it's like when you're driving down the road and there's right. a guy with fluorescent on. 
Why? Because you want to see him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What do you think? Hey, are you going to be looking at the road or that guy with his vest? I'm telling you. <laughs> right. I'm just following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, you, things that we hear you guys say over and over again, right? A lot of the theme here is, hey, everybody, don't be scared to try something else. Like if you're holding a high gun and you're staring at the bead, change it to white, bring your gun down to the house. You know, I think we could rattle off about five of the top shooters like uh, Richard, Richard, Richard Marshall Jr., Zach Nanini, uh, Charnago, Ditto, Lamont, like all these guys are down on the house. They've all come on this podcast and we ask them, where do they hold? And they'll hold on the house, right? So don't be scared to bring the gun down. Yeah, and I'm not saying that's for everyone, but if you're doing something, if you're doing something and you're having failure and you're seeking right. something different, well then, okay, if you're, if you're up above the house and you're winning everything, well, then obviously it works, right? Right. I, there's different things that work for different people. For sure. Try, try the white bead, bring it down. All right. Gino, thank you very much. We appreciate it. It was a great question and, uh, everybody keep your questions coming in. We, we do appreciate you guys, uh, sending us these great questions and as always send them to ask us at trap talk and we'll get these two guys to answer them for you. Thanks everybody. Thanks.